Let's make homemade marshmallows without eggs or corn syrup. Start by adding 22 grams of grass-fed gelatin to a stand mixer with a whisk attachment. Add in half a cup of cold water. Stir to combine completely and allow the gelatin to bloom for a few minutes. In a small pot, add 340 grams of raw honey, 454 grams of cane sugar, half a teaspoon of sea salt, and half a cup of warm water. Put this over a medium heat and stir to combine the ingredients completely. Allow the mixture to cook, stirring occasionally. Once the mixture starts to bubble and rise up the sides of the pan, remove it immediately and pour over the gelatin mixture. Start whisking on low to avoid splattering. As the mixture starts to thicken, slowly increase the speed. Continue to do this until you are at full speed. The marshmallows will turn from an opaque color to a bright white color. Add in one teaspoon of ground vanilla bean, and it will start to look like marshmallow fluff at this stage. Continue to whisk until the mixture is thick enough that you are able to drizzle it and it doesn't melt right back into itself right away. This whole process will take about 10 minutes. Line a 9 by 13 inch baking pan with parchment paper and spray with avocado oil cooking spray to prevent the marshmallows from sticking. Transfer the marshmallows to the pan and spread them out evenly. Let these set for 24 hours before removing from the pan. After 24 hours, line a baking sheet with parchment paper and sift powdered sugar onto it. Then turn out the marshmallows on top of the powdered sugar. Sift more powdered sugar on top of the marshmallows. The powdered sugar is what will help keep them from sticking together, so the more the better. My top trick for cutting marshmallows is to use a pizza cutter, but a sharp knife will also work too. Cut the marshmallows in half horizontally and then cut each half into thirds. Cut each third into four squares for large marshmallows. If you want mini mallows, you can cut each square into four from there. Enjoy homemade marshmallows in hot chocolate or just on their own as a sweet treat. If you want more nostalgic recipes made with better ingredients, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join me next time in the kitchen.